the properties of carboxylic acids. Huh? I'm sorry for the delay. <clears throat> so now we are going for the first property, the acidic property of carboxylic group. Why carboxylic group should be acidic in nature? Let us see. This is the carboxylic. Carboxylic group is electron withdrawing. So it is going to pull electron from this. So you will get this. Then in that case, the is this is is resonance. See here, just as we have discussed in phenol. In this case, what you find a negative charge is very close to positive charge. So in such case, in such case, this is not this structure is not stable. <coughs> this structure is not stable. But when carboxylic acid dissociates, in that case, you get here carboxylic anion. Now, this carboxylic anion <clears throat> then carboxylate anion undergoes resonance. We do not have any structure where in the positive charge and negative charge is there. Clear? So we find that this anion is more resonance stabilized than this. Due to that, the carboxylic group undergoes huh? dissociation. Okay. Now, what is this uh, hybrid structure? This is the hybrid structure. The negative charge keeps on moving from one oxygen to another. Please draw this one. I'm really sorry. Eh? Today I bleed. Bluetooth <laughs> Written. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, can you? Is it okay if you turn the lights off, sir? The part where you don't carboxylic anion or carboxylic anion, it's glaring, sir. It's all right now. Yes, sir. Okay. Then please write. Right. Carboxylic acid, sorry, carboxylic group
is not resonance stabilized due to charge separate energy due to the presence of due to the presence of charge separation energy while while no such phenomenon no such phenomenon is observed in carboxylate anion no such phenomenon is observed in carboxylate anion therefore therefore carboxylate anion therefore carboxylate anion is more stable then carboxylic group therefore carboxylate anion is more stable than carboxylic group hence hence carboxylic group undergoes dissociation and is acidic in nature okay okay now see here <laughs> right factors controlling factors controlling the acidity of carboxylic group okay let us try to first understand ha huh? see here if only the resonance is the factor of acidity of carboxylic acid that all the carboxylic acids we have thousands of carboxylic acid we have then it should show show us 
same acidity, but we find different carboxylic acid shows different degree of acidity. That is, there is some other factors which are responsible for the acidity of carboxylic acid. Now, acidity of carboxylic acid depends upon how fast the bond undergoes dissociation. How fast it undergoes dissociation. So now we find the rate of breaking of oxygen hydrogen bond is controlled by this group R. If R pulls the electron faster in this side, then the breaking will be faster. And if it is in opposite direction, then the process of breaking will be slower. It is being controlled by this R. Because for every carboxylic group, this electron neutral carbonyl group is common. So it is being controlled by this R. Okay. So can you case, repeat again? See, all carboxylic acid has this carboxyl group. Initially, the resonance structure, what did I tell you? That because of the electron neutral nature of the carbonyl group, this Carbonyl group pulls electron, makes this electron oxygen electron electron deficient. Due to that, oxygen pulls the electron from the hydrogen and breaks this bond. So all carbox thousands of carboxylic acids are there. All of them should have the same degree of dissociation, but we find it is not like that. So why, in that case, this acidity increases or decreases? It is that is something else is responsible for their dissociation. Then we find is it is this group which is present here is the one which controls it. If this group R has any electron withdrawing group, then it is going to pull electron in this side. When it pulls electron, make this carbon stronger electron withdrawing, then you find the flow of electron will be here then ultimately the bond is going to break. And if it is reverse, if you have put a group which is electron donating, in that case, it will make this carbon electron rich. Then this electron rich carbon will push the electron towards oxygen due to repulsion, then the bond breaking process will be slower. So what did you find here now? That it is being controlled by the group which is present here. All right? So you can write here that role of substituent. Okay? A. Electron. Withdrawing or attracting group. Okay, so let me take one <clears throat> example. Say I have taken here formic acid. See, in formic acid, this hydrogen has. It neither supplies electron nor withdraws electron. So this is an ideal acid where acidity is solely because of resonance. Only because of resonance. All right. Now I have taken here CH3 C O H. And I have taken here Cl CH2. CO. All right. See, this methyl group is, we know, all alkyl groups are electron donating. And take this one. Though it is an alkyl group, but chlorine is a strong electron withdrawing group. Okay. Electron, highly electron negative element. In this case, see the situation just changed. What is going to happen now? We'll find that 
this substitution of an electronegative element or an electron withdrawing group. Suppose I have taken this. See here, this electron withdrawing. Huh? What happens now? It increases the acidity of the carboxylic acid hmm? many more times. So what we can say? The presence of electron electronegative elements or electron withdrawing group increases the acidity of the carboxylic acids. Write down. The presence of first you write here. You write this heading. At the presence of electron withdrawing group, sorry, presence of electronegative elements or electron withdrawing groups on the alkyl chain. increases the acidity of the aliphatic carboxylic acids. Stronger than you write next paragraph. Stronger be the nature of stronger be the nature of Electronegative element or electron withdrawing group more acidic the compound will be okay so now what should i do i write like this Example, suppose I have taken here this So, in, uh, in among the halogen, we know the electron to decreases of fluorine to chlorine, the acidity of the carboxylic acid also will be like this. Then, larger the number. Mm -hmm. of 
such electro negative elements or electron withdrawing groups more acidic will be the compound so now example say so i have taken here trifluoroacetic acid then difluoroacetic acid then fluoroacetic acid then acetic acid you be much to know that this compound is 1 million times more acidic than this because of this larger number of electron electronegative elements same is big same will be the case for the the chloroacetic acid trichloroacetic acid is more acidic than dichloro dichloro is more acidic than chloro and then ultimately acetic acid Yes, the electron electron negative elements or electron withdrawing. groups move away from carboxyl group acidity Acidity decreases. All right. So let me write here CH3, CH2, CH, Cl. See this on the alpha carbon. If it goes to beta carbon, then gradually is moving away. And finally, it goes to gamma carbon. You'll find this is the one. So as the group moves away, the effect decreases. Okay. <clears throat> so why is this happening? Because inductive effect huh, decreases. It happens. Due to decreasing minus i effect.
Entonces uno mueve el lado. Bien, estamos un buen sitio por cena. Estamos por un buen sitio por cena. Al futuro, a la manera de Dios. Entonces tú vas a poder amarte y tú ya. Entonces yo, cuando tú tomas el mundo, dices ya por cena, no, tú tomas el mundo de carne. El líder propio. Rujen. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. Then right. Right. In case of aromatic carboxylic acids. So please uh, cut this one. Uh, like I have made a uh, do I have, whatever I told is perfectly correct, but in exam you you cannot write so many so many things. Then you write here. Right. Note. Right. <clears throat> the presence of electronegative elements or electron withdrawing groups. on the alkyl chain of carboxylic acids. Sir, can you please repeat? The presence of electronegative elements or electron withdrawing groups on alkyl chain of Aliphatic carboxylic acids stabilizes stabilizes the carboxylate anion. And hence, the acidity increases. Right, then right below. The presence of electronegative elements or Electron withdrawing groups at ortho and para positions of Aromatic carboxylic acids. Stabilizes 
di negatif tag on car box select and i and so yeah acidity the acidity increases जानी ना ना लेकिन तो बहुत बिल्कुल लगे ना ऐसे जमीन से देरी तो इतना कोई आदत दोष नहीं আমার ব্লুটুথটা সব সময় হাত না কারণ আজকে ব্লুটুথটা হাত করে দিই ওই দমে দেখাস করে ওই দমে দেখাস এই এই ফোন কথা তো সময় কোন কোন ফোন ফোন করে তো জানি এই যে এই এই তো তুই তার অন ব্লুটুথ কাজ করে দিই It's finished. Yes, sir. Okay, now we'll do the example. Mm -hmm. Actually, we mobile it has some link for us. I'll go to the See here. <clears throat> Suppose I have taken here benzoic acid. Say it is this. Okay. Then I have taken here this. then this then this this remember see here chlorine is closer to this now the effect is more than this see so this is ortho orthochlorobenzoic acid perachlorobenzoic acid metachlorobenzoic acid and benzoic acid So this is an electronic reaction. Let us write out the effect of presence of electron between groups. Say I have taken here nitro. All right. <coughs> then this one don't write. I'll explain. Huh? This is for entrance exam. This. this then this okay now see here. theoretically acidity of this one should be more than this ha huh? some fact see so many factors are there which i cannot discuss with you dear See here. Why I'm telling? Actually, it should be more than this. This should be more than this. But we find this is more than this. Why? See here.
this distance. Huh? This is not. This, because of this electron tendency, immediately the oxygen hydrogen bond is going to break. Nitro group is has stronger ele electron withdrawing effect than that of fluorine also. But we find strange that it is acidity is less. You know why? See here. What is this? Is it not hydrogen bonding? Intramolecular hydrogen bonding. When this bond breaks, this oxygen does not leave it. So because of that, this dissociation decreases. Huh? These are the things which are being asked in our entrance exam because this has to be explained and there is no scope of explanation in your textbook. Okay, I can talk to you hours together about the control of acidity, but so so much of things will also not be remembered. But please remember that acidity of this one, orthonitro is less than peranitro. Okay. But I will always want that my students should know it. All right. Ah. So here you'll write, even though orthonitrobenzoic acid should have been more acidic than that of paranitrobenzoic acid, but due to intramolecular hydrogen bonding, the decision decreases. Okay, first you write this one. Then after that, we'll write as a no. Today I'm feeling very sorry. I have all in fact uh, <clears throat> the because of some mobile problem on unnecessary 10 15 minutes gone. Sir, can you explain why uh, ortho is more 
uh, acidic than meta for yeah. chlorine. When you draw the resonance structure of benzene, remember, or if you know that anything, see here, when when this group is delocalized, then you find charge comes here, here it comes, and here it comes. It never comes here. Okay? Charge will come, this after resonance, you'll find charge always the either negative charge or positive charge comes in the ortho position and the para position. That is, we say, ortho and para position is in conjugation with the group the group present here so meta group has no role uh, meta group does not stabilize the negative charge by resonance effect okay because it is isolated but even if it's so why meta group is more acidic meta benzoic acid is more acidic than benzoic acid Meta does not stabilize the negative ion, but Meta withdraws electron from the benzene ring. So as it withdraws the, withdraws the electron from the benzene ring, indirectly, indirectly makes this ring electron deficient. So the ring now starts pulling electron. So here, nitro group is not in resonance conjugation with this group. But nitro group makes it electron deficient. See, in your house, suppose there is some financial crisis is there. Say, your parents have two children. Okay? So in that case, you are directly being affected. But you may also have a cousin, brother, or sister. Okay? In that case, she is not being directly affected, but she feels that their financial crisis is there at home. So she will try to help you, but not directly. So here also, moment there is an electron, if this electron rich group is there, it pushes the electron to ortho and pair. Similarly, if there is electron deficiency is there, in such case you'll find that the negative charge is here. Okay, I'll draw it for you. Good question you've asked. I'm drawing the anion. This. This is the Okay? Now see. <coughs> In that case, what is going to happen? In that case, you find Can you move your gura to anti bulu? What do you mean anti? Okay, now see here. Look here. This is. See now, what is going to happen? See. See here. Where the effect comes here? This is not the ortho. Look. Then it will go where? It comes here. Sorry. This. So meta position is not disturbed. All right. So meta electron withdrawing group or, or electron negative element in meta position does not uh, does not help in the stabilization of negative that. But as a whole it makes this ring electron deficient. So the ring now starts pulling electron. Understood now? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. So... All right, now right? Role of electron donating group. Role of electron donating groups. Okay, then right. The presence of electron donating groups. Presence of electron donating groups.
attached to carbonyl carbon or alkyl chain of aliphatic carboxylic acids destabilizes the carboxylate anion as a result their acidity decreases Okay, now I'll show you an example. Okay, I'll write the question now. Why is acetic acid less acidic than formic acid? Okay, this is what is the question? Question is. that acetic acid is less acidic than formic acid see here acetic acid ionizes to give you this look is in that electron donating group so it start by electron electron arrives here then there is repulsion or not between these two huh? because of that <coughs> this carboxylic anion is not that stable but in case of formic acid when dissociation occurs okay i'll always write like this in our chemical kinetics or in equilibrium chapter you have seen see here it is moving in more in this direction why see here hydrogen has hydrogen in neither supplies electron not withdraws electron so in that case this is stable this is stable because of what is stable because of resonance this also undergoes resonance dia but in that case this structure is not that stable so in that case you find the acetic acid dissociation is less acetic acid undergoes only 10% dissociation because of this effect okay you write this one after that we'll write the answer ch3 group present on carbonyl carbon yes cst group present on this is can we tell which your voice is not clear please tell me again hello so can we tell which carbon acha now see very your voice is not clear i am using another phone and the phone which is free you can ask your answer by calling me so then i will be able to understand call at this number i'll tell your answer okay because your i your voice is clear i have single word also i could not understand See, CST group present on carbonyl carbon. This is the carbonyl carbon. See here, CST group is here. Is electron 
डोनेटिंग इन नेचर भाई इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनेटिंग इन नेचर वी नो इट वेरी वेल इस कॉल प्लास आई इफेक्ट एंड डिस्टेबिलाइजेस डी कार्बोक्सिलेट एंड आयन बाय इलेक्ट्रॉन रिपेलिंग इफेक्ट as a result dissociation decreases See. when we call it acid is sorry a substance is more acidic when the concentration of h plus in the solution is less so all the molecules want to i want to dissociate but moment they start dissociating into H plus and acetate and ion, this repulsion becomes more vigorous. That is, repulsion is there. See, it is a neutral molecule. Even if the repulsion is there, but as there is no negative charge on oxygen, but you have negative charge on oxygen, so repulsion becomes very severe. To avoid this one, because it is an uncomfortable position. Suppose you go to a place and you find that nobody is talking to you. In that case, you will not like to stay in that place. So same thing is due to repulsion. The Dissociation decreases, and as the dissociation decreases, concentration of H plus in the solution decreases. So we can say these are less acid. So I have written here. CH3 group present on carbonyl carbon is electron donating in nature. Why? Because we know it's plus I effect, and this stabilizes the carboxylate ion by electron repelling effect. As a result, dissociation decreases. So you can ultimately you can write the famous sentence. Hence. Acidity of carboxylic acid, sorry, acetic acid is less than formic acid. So that sentence you will write because you are very expert in writing this one. Hence, acidity of acetic acid is less than formic acid. Okay, this is a. This question is often asked in MBOS, and it may be asked in CBSC also. Finished. Yes, sir. Okay. So now. So now see. Suppose I have taken. I have taken this. Then this. Then. Okay, I'll make it isomeric. It is same number of carbon. One, two, three, four. See here. In this case, you have one alkyl group. In this case, you have two alkyl groups. In this case, you have three alkyl groups. So, 
here you have maximum electron repelling effect followed by this and this so you find the acidity will be in all right because three alkyl group two alkyl group and one alkyl group so in that case the acidity will be here will be maximum because its electron repel effect is less three alkyl Okay, what do we write now here? Most electron repelling two alkyl and one alkyl. So, minimum electron repelling effect. Yes, the electron donating groups move if away from. Change group plus I effect decreases. So the acidity increases. So I write like. And this is the one I'm moving now. It's isomeric, same molecular formula. See, is alpha. Beta, gamma, alpha, beta, gamma. Is alpha? This is beta. This is gamma. It is the nearest. Effect is more. Repulsion will be maximum. So in this case, you find here the acidity will be minimum. It is on gamma. So inductive effect almost zero because inductive effect decreases after third carbon atom vanishes. So in that case, the acidity is like this. Mm
Finish. Yes, sir. Okay, now. Uh, yes. Won't the methyl or the CH3 from the terminals affect the uh, inductive effect? Sir? Which one? This one? The second one. The second one and the third one. So you can see here. Here you find this electron, because it is common. No, this, uh, this alkyl series is common. So what did you find here? Moment is CH3 comes here. Now you have to consider one and two. Okay. Here also is there, but as it is moving away, so this this effect is constant. But see here, as it moves away from here, then plus I, this inductive effect, magnitude of inductive effect of this uh, methyl group decreases. So as the group moves away from the carboxylic group, the effect gradually diminishes. And as a result, acidity will decrease. Okay. Then right. Right. In case of aromatic carboxylic acids, in case of aromatic carboxylic acids, the presence of electron donating groups. at ortho and para positions destabilizes the negative charge on carboxylic acids. Pardon? In case of aromatic carboxylic acids, the presence of electron donating groups at ortho and para positions destabilizes the negative charge on carboxylic acids as a result their acidity decreases See this one. This is nearest having the maximum electron refilling effect. So it's the weakest acid. Then comes this. Here, it is not indirectly in conjugation with the carboxylic acid. So it does not disturb this negative charge, but it increases the density of electron inside the phenyl ring. So weak repulsion occurs, which does not happen at all in case of benzoic acid. So what will be the acidity now here? Acidity will be this.
more than number of electron donating groups, lesser will be the acidity that we already have shown in aliphatic. Let us see in aromatic. See here. Suppose you have taken this. This. Here you have three, here you have two, and here you have one. So the acidity will be, will be this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, see, one more effect I'm going to show you because we have not explained the acidity of benzoic acid. Okay? So, we say that phenyl ring is electron withdrawing, so it is acidic. No, actually, this is not the thing. Uh, this is not being given in your book. I'm very sorry, but it's very popular with other textbooks. Okay? So, here I have discussed with you the role of electron withdrawing group electron withdrawing group increases the acidity electron group decreases acidity then one more effect is also there is called hybridization effect hybridization effect okay first i'll give you the example then i'll explain i have taken here This is propanoic acid. This is saturated. This is what? Propinoid acid. And this is low. Okay. So this is PRO. This YN is there now. See this one. In that case, how should you arrange their acidity? Look here. Here, this carbon is sp3. 
this carbon is sp3 and this carbon is sp you remember about s character yes sir very good s character see here here out of four hybridized orbital only one is s so contribution is 25 percent out of three one so it is 33.3 and he out of two it is one so it is 50 percent see if this is the nucleus this is the s orbital this is s orbital you should know and this is the p orbital okay one one electron is here and one electron is here which one is closer to the nucleus yes all right that is the nuclear pool is maximum so wherever you find the higher s character is there that pulls the electron near to the nucleus which i can say indirectly i can say it is more electron negative so what do you find here S fifty percent S character is. I can say indirectly, not generally we call it S character, but to make you understand, I'm writing something something which is not uh, applicable. Maximum electro negative, and this is minimum. Electro negative. So in that case, what you are going to find? Which will be the strongest acid? This is the strongest acid. So this is the first you write the series, then we'll write explanation. done finished yes sir okay then right right higher the s character of alpha carbon see this is the alpha carbon more is their s character sorry higher the s character alpha carbon more is their electronegativity and so more will be the 
acidity of the carboxylic acids. Okay, last. Sir, sir yes. can you repeat the last line, sir? Huh? So higher, you... the, higher the S character of alpha carbon. of carboxylic acids more will be their electronegativity and more will be their acidity Hello, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. 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 Benzoic acid more acidic than formic acid. See, we have just now seen that acetic acid, acid formic acid is stronger than acetic acid, but in case of benzoic acid, it is just opposite. That is. here. This benzoic acid is found to be more acidic than formic acid. Why it is like? Write the question. Almost, it is almost nine o'clock. Huh? So I will just discuss with you three, two, three minutes. Huh? You need not just try to understand. You can write it by yourself. Yes, sir. See here. This carboxylic group is bonded to what carbon? Oh, in benzene, all the carbon are sp2. See here. These are all sp2 carbon. Is it not bonded to a more electronegative carbon? In this case, you don't have any carbon. Is it not the acidity of this one only more? Huh? What will write now here? In benzoic acid, carboxylic group is bonded to more electro negative. We'll write here now. Okay. More electronegative SP2 carbon atom. We'll write here now. IR S character. 
then so it is more positive than one okay so now you look see i can give another one I think some of you are missing your class. Ah, huh? so please excuse me. See, this is SPT. What is this? SPT. See here, it is lesser S character. It is having higher S character because of that. This is more acidic than this. Okay. So from tomorrow we'll start. Acha. Please remember tomorrow. Uh, now time is running. Question. Right. Which is more acidic? Which is more acidic? Okay. Carboxylic acid or phenol? Which is more acidic? Carboxylic acid or phenol? Okay, we will write this one. Or all right. So let me first write this one. This might come in your school exam. I'm not going to draw his all all resonance uh, structure. I'm going to do is only hybrid. Let's draw. Then we we'll like explanation. So is that a negative sign in the middle, sir? See here. This is the this is the carboxylic acid has undergone dissociation. This is a resonance structure, and this is the hybrid structure. Phenol is undergoing dissociation. This is the phenoxyl ion. This is the is hybrid. All right. This is the hybrid structure of phenol. So, alert. This is the. One.
moment you finish you tell me yes sir see here here see this negative charge move from one oxygen to another oxygen that is this negative charge is in between very strong electronegative oxygen atom this is it is being dispersed between two electronegative more electronegative oxygen atom see here negative charge is between oxygen and carbon so which will be more stable this one okay as this is more stable than this it will undergo faster dissociation write down right carboxylic acids are more acidic then phenol because because the negative charge of the anion or right negative charge of the carboxylate anion is dispersed between two more electronegative oxygen atoms and is more stable than phenoxide anion more stable than phenoxide anion thank you i'm sorry for holding you more time huh? thank you sir yeah. thank you sir Okay, welcome. Okay.